Hi everyone, Data Sun would like to show you how to launch SharePoint list item with barcode scanner in Power Apps. Uh, this also answer the question from some of you regarding our YouTube video on how to auto generate customized barcode QR code uh, with the SharePoint uh, and uh, Power Automate. And um, some of you guys uh, ask. Uh, how to uh, redirect you to the shepherd list when you scan the barcode. Um, so let's have a look uh, at the uh, shepherd list. Uh, so uh, previously, we, we used uh, this website uh, to generate the, uh, uh, the QR code based on our inventory ID value. So here you could see the value is uh, this, this value. So whenever we train and this value, we will get the, um, uh, the uh, corresponding QR code. Huh? So this means that whenever you scan and uh, this code, uh, you will get the uh, value behind the equal. Oh, so, so in order for you to launch the uh, um, the uh, the shepherd list item you need to uh, put here the link to the uh, uh, shepherd list item. So here we have the link of uh, each uh, item, each list item here. Yeah, uh, but it ends with the uh, ID of the item. So uh, so this item uh, R one two three seven six R one two three seven six. Uh, it has the ID ID equal to six. Uh, so, for example, we copy this entire link into and we replace with this uh, value. We should get a new link, uh, this link. So, when you scan uh, this QR code, you should be able to redirect it. Uh, to this link, and you should be able or to open an, um, uh, this shape list item. So this, you should be able to view uh, this page. So uh, you just uh, need to uh, edit your flow a little bit. Uh, so earlier we uh, concat, uh, we concat uh, this uh, website link. Uh, with the uh, uh, inventory uh, ID uh, few value, uh, which is uh, one two three seven six. Now we need to train it with uh, two part, two parts. Uh, so the first part should be this one, the link to the SharePoint item. So we, uh, so this one is the first part, and the second one is the ID of the item. Then, uh, then it should be okay. Um, so you just uh, click save to update your uh, um, your flow. And um, today uh, we will show you. Uh, on how to use the Power Apps uh, to scan uh, the uh, QR code, and then you uh, and then you can launch this uh, item. So, for example, you have uh, uh, this uh, QR code, uh, and then you use your phone to scan this QR code. So, when you click uh, um, scan, uh, you should be able or to uh, go to this uh, list item. To so here we apply the same logic in Power Apps uh, that we just uh, need to uh, insert uh, barcode scanner uh, in here. So this one, we already have this barcode scanner. Uh, and. Um, uh, let's say you have the uh, barcode scan. Uh, uh, sorry, you have the barcode or QR code value. You set as the link uh, directly to oh, this inventory item. Um, so you just need to launch the uh, barcode scanner value uh, 
on scan control like this and uh, this means that whenever you click onto this uh, uh, icon uh, you should be able to uh, go directly to this uh, list item and uh, what if you have the uh, barcode or QR code value set as the uh, uh, list item ID uh, so here uh, this item ID is uh, 7 and if we choose this one we should have number 10 and uh, number 8 so uh, you have uh, this ID and you just need to change the uh, formula a little bit so here is the uh, barcode scanner value it is number 8 and you just need to add the um, first part of the uh, uh, the, uh, the link uh, in, into your formula and the same logic here what if you have uh, your barcode value or QR code value set as the uh, custom um, field, other field than the uh, uh, list item ID. So in this case, we use this uh, field, inventory ID field. Uh, so we use this field and um, we just need to train the formula a little bit. So we uh, here we still keep the first part of the link and the second part instead of using the uh, the ID here uh, we need to look up uh, the we need to look up this uh, barcode scanner value uh, with uh, the uh, inventory ID field and the formula that this one then uh, you should be okay. So we hope that this uh, video is useful to you oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips. Thank you.